Over the past few weeks, the channel has been focusing on the many Neolithic ruins which can still be found littering our planet. Enigmatic earthworks, built in a bygone age, supposedly by our primitive, flint-wielding ancestors. Enormous ancient undertakings, like that of the Long Barrows or Solstice-aligned mounds, such as Newgrange. We also explored dolmens, found the world over, along with many other recurring Neolithic features. However, there still remains many as yet unexplained, yet clearly excellently executed ruins that, due to the capabilities of their past constructor, fortunately still exist to this day. Ancient supposed Neolithic ruins, such as that of the effigy mounds. It seems, regardless of the gigantic effort these would have once been, for currently claimed architects, these effigy mounds, such as that of the Great Serpent Mound of Ohio, the largest surviving mound of this type, were created merely for entertainment purposes, or perhaps as an offering to the gods. We are, in the modern age, fully aware of serpent worship, once undertaken by ancient civilizations across South America. And due to these already understood ancient belief systems, the possibility that these unexplained mounds may have been religiously motivated becomes a logical postulation. The Great Serpent Mound is 1,348 feet long and runs along the landscape continually 3 feet high. It is claimed by some as Neolithic, yet no one seems to be able to definitively determine its age. A prehistoric effigy, located upon a plateau, aptly named Serpent Mound Crater in Adams County, Ohio. Now maintained by the Ohio History Connection, it has been designated as a National Historic Landmark by the United States Department of Interior. The Serpent Mound of Ohio was first reported from surveys by Ephraim Squire and Edwin Davis in their historic volume Ancient Monuments of the Mississippi Valley published in 1848 by the newly founded Smithsonian Origin. We feel, due to its inexplicable nature, archaeologists will continue to find these incredible relics difficult to explain. As such, the origins of the mound are still heavily debated. The mound, like many other ruins we've covered, we posit were in fact left by a civilization far older than currently conceived, and as such, like the many similar sites and ruins we have explored, contains no archaeological artifacts, no burials, and no dating material, leaving academics with no later inhabitants to pin the site's construction on. As such, they remain incapable of establishing a permitted claim as to the age of the mound. The two main funded theories are that it was either created by the Adena culture around 320 BC or the Fort Ancient, around 1070 AD. However, these claims are both light in regards to any compelling lines of deference to argue said hypothesis. Archaeologists began attributing the mound to the Fort Ancient culture within the publication of Serpent Mound, a Fort Ancient Icon, in 1996. A 2017 article, Radiocarbon Dates Reveal Serpent Mound is More Than 2,000 Years Old, argues for a construction by the Adena culture, circa 320 BC, yet any solid data to confirm said claims remain elusive. The academic debate regularly experiences rebuttals, with each published in the Mid-Continental Journal of Archaeology. Who built the Great Serpent Mound, or indeed the Effigy Mounds as a whole? Were they, as we claim, the work of a now lost, serpent-worshipping civilization? Just like that of South America's inexplicable ruins, we find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling.